having just come back from the Middle East, I had a lot of conversations about <clears throat> fundamentalism and what is the nature of fundamentalist. How do you tell the difference between a fundamentalist and a non-fundamentalist? And the big thing in the Arab world is ishtihad. So there's jihad, which is the idea of war or struggle. Yeah. And then ishtihad is the reflexive form of that. Yeah, so the it's one, the one struggle that goes on with your, yourself. Yes, yes. And the point is, is that <clears throat> fundamentalists don't... I didn't know there was a difference between ishtihad... Yeah. So what does Ishti mean? All uh, Semitic languages revolve around three or four little roots. So you have like jihad. So there's a J, an H, and a D. But then what you can do is you can insert different letters or different vowels in the middle and create other words. So, for example, if you insert, instead of having jihad, you have ishtihad, right? That IT form is always the reflexive form. So it's always struggle with yourself. And so what you find is in general, you know, my dad's, uh, like I have a friend of my dad's who's a Muslim cleric, he always says that it takes three seconds to become a fundamentalist and a lifetime to become a Muslim. Oh, that's so great. And that's the nature of fundamentalism. Because something resonates with your fast thinking brain. Explain to our listeners what, how you, what a fundamentalist is in your mind. Well, I think in the fundamentalist, it always comes down to the same thing. We're the good guys, and then there is something that is bad. Well, we have the truth. And we have the truth. The, then the whole truth, truth nothing but, but the truth. truth. And then there is this thing that is bad. And if we could just get rid of this thing that is bad, then all of our problems would be solved. Yeah. So in, the, in Muslim fundamentalism, it's like, oh, if we would just all live the, the way of the prophet, then all of our problems would be solved. But there is this bad thing, which are these outside Western secular influences. And so we have to strip them away. But they keep on stripping them away until suddenly we can't use kites, we can't use toothbrushes. You're starting to sound a lot like uh, the God of the Old Testament. Yeah, exactly. Kept, kept telling the Israelites, you Guys, you got to kill everybody in Canaan. Stop letting them live and marrying them because you're going to start worshiping their gods. That's right. Yeah. So it's my way or the highway. And other people's fundamentalists are easy to spot. Our own fundamentalists, we sort of protect. That's why it takes years to spot a Joseph McCarthy, right. or it takes years to spot that you're in the middle of a witch hunt. And there's a lot of different types of fundamentalism that are going on now. What I've been saying is there are 31 fa flavors of fundamentalism. Yeah. And they're different in the sense that some are Rocky Road, and some are chocolate chip, and some are cookie dough. But at the end of the day, they're all ice cream. They're all fundamentalism. Yeah. And it may be libertarian, it may be social justice, it may be Muslim, it may be Christian, it may be atheist fundamentalism, like Sam Harris and Richard Dawkins, which is the same ideology. We have the truth, everyone needs to be an atheist, and the problems of the world all come down to religion. And if we could just get rid of religion, then everything would be solved. The big problem is, is that Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris's head are full of magical thinking. Specifically... I know what it is. Yeah. That human beings are rational yeah that human beings have organized brains that yeah human beings are are divested from their emotional life yep and that, that's that they're not that the emotional tail doesn't wag the rational dog yep. as jonathan Haidt once said and you'll notice that like all fundamentalists they're super literal and super obsessed with exact wording and what the text says and what does it say in the Bible and what does it say in the Quran. They become so focused on the words and have no sense of what the spirit of the religion is or yeah. the belief system or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And that's because they don't fundamentally understand their own emotions. They don't understand how emotions drive their thinking. They've never engaged in ishtihad. They've only engaged in jihad.